What the hell is going on? Where's our air support? Get those forward guns going. Why aren't those rear batteries firing? Somebody get General Wilson on the horn! Colonel Fury. Doom. I'll have your head for this. I have little time for your petty threats, Colonel. Surrender your ship now, or I shall destroy it. Not on my watch. This is a priority alert to all metahumans. UNN Alpha requests immediate assistance. Thor, take care of those gunships. Spider-Man, draw them towards the stern. Sure thing. I just love being the target. Wolverine, you do it, Boy Scout. I don't take orders from you. Staten Island. scares me. like I hit the jackpot! I'm working for the biggest group of villains this world has ever known. The Masters of Evil! <laughs> That's the best part of all. We're led by the man himself. Doctor Doom. If you only knew. Cause Doom's got a plan that's gonna shake the heavens! You want to get tough, punk? Good, because so do I. Responding to my SOS so quickly. The helicarrier is under attack by a group of supervillains called the Masters of Evil. And to make matters worse, they're led by Victor Von Doom. My thoughts exactly. It's not important. I told you it's not important. Colonel Fury, this is the Black Widow. The Masters of Evil have activated the launch cycle of our nuclear missiles. I need help if they are to be stopped. Help is on its way, Black Widow. Fury out. Team, just one of those missiles could level an entire city. Failure is not an option. You have to get to the launch bay and stop them.
only way to stop those missiles from firing is to destroy the consoles that control them. you just an impressive bunch of heroes. Too bad my good buddies Daredevil and Elektra weren't with you. You wouldn't be trying to stop the nuclear missile I just launched, would you? Hey, if the boss wants me to launch a missile at a heavily populated city, I do it. I don't get paid to ask questions. Sorry, I can't. And even if I did step aside, there's nothing you could do. I've got the only access card to the navigation computer. I choose or else. You're gonna... Winter Soldier, give up! I'm here to stop you from destroying the helicarrier engines. Captain America. Can't say it's good to see you again. You have dealt with this fool before? Oh, yeah. Cap and I go way back, don't we, buddy? Winter Soldier, please. Stop this before the helicarrier is destroyed. Thousands of lives will be lost. Sorry, no can do. I've got my orders. You of all people understand that, don't you? Order. I'll fight you if I have to. Then what are you waiting for? Let's see what you got, old man. got a little carried away, but we're on it. Lower the force fields and let's clear out of here. It is lucky for you we must depart. I was just getting warmed up. But we will meet again, I promise you. I told you they'd follow. They're as predictable as the sunrise. 
Come then, heroes. Follow us a bit further. <laughs> We're up here. Now you've had it. Yes. Let us see how you fare against this force. Attack! This one. Too late. In a matter of moments, the Winter Soldier will have unlocked the security code for this gun. Then, we shall fire it into the engine. Don't you understand? You can't defeat the Masters of Evil. We're just too powerful. Abandon ship while you still can. He has a plan that will give us all enough power to live like kings for an eternity. Quiet, Chen. You've already said too much. Ah! It does not matter. They will not live to tell anyone. Why don't we make sure of that? Yo! Team, welcome to Stark Tower, my pride and joy. It's 40 stories of heaven on earth. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with just a few billion dollars. We are now a team? Yes. I've been empowered by S.H.I.E.L.D. to create a task force to stop the Masters of Evil. But the helicarrier was so badly damaged that it can't be used as a headquarters. Fortunately, 
Tony is willing to let us stay here for the duration, and has all the facilities we'll require. Believe me, it's no problem at all. And I called in a few old friends to help us out. Feel free to walk around and meet them. I'd suggest you meet Hank Pym first, since he's in charge of equipment. The Vision is here as our information officer. Great. We got a computer to talk to the computers for us. When you're ready to go on a mission, talk to Wyatt Wingfoot. He'll take you there in one of my Quinjets. Speaking of that, what is our next mission, Colonel? I recently received a radio transmission from Dum Dum Dugan requesting that I come to the Omega base. But there was something questionable in his message. You think it might be a trap? Maybe. I can't be sure. For more information, talk to the Black Widow. Hi, the name's Wyatt Wingfoot. In case you didn't know, I'm your pilot while you're here at Stark Tower. We'll be taking the Quinjet when you're ready to leave on a mission. Sure. What do you need? Colonel Fury, Red Rolfson is on line six. Discreetly. As in, don't let Fury know? Yeah, I can do that. Give me a little bit. I think I know just the person to ask. We're close to the landing zone, so I'll be brief. Dum Dum Dugan recently sent a suspicious radio message requesting I meet him at the Omega base for a report on the latest super soldier serum. What's so suspicious about that? Dr. Banner was to give the report. The only thing is, Banner has been working on the Gamma Bomb project, not the Super Soldier Serum. Dugan would never make a mistake like that. Something's up. What is the Omega Base? It's a mobile lab that's over five stories tall. We use it for field testing experiments. Oh, <laughs> Shield's the greatest. Flying aircraft carriers, office buildings on wheels. Oh, please tell me you've got a tunnel that runs from New York to Tokyo. Spider-Man, this is serious. Colonel, is there anything on board the Omega that would be considered dangerous? If the contents of that vehicle were to fall into the wrong hands, it would be disastrous for all mankind. Exactly what are you developing that could threaten the entire planet? That's classified. So it's all right for us to save the vehicle. We just can't know what's going on there. Correct. Now, if I may continue, the team's mission will be to sneak on board the Omega and locate Dugan. He should be able to bring you up to speed on the situation. Any questions? All right, good luck. Good. One thing I want to point out, you now have a shield port. It's an experimental device that'll let you transport instantly back to headquarters whenever you want. Okay, good luck in there. Let me know when you want to leave. Quiet out. Team, satellite recon shows the Omega base is now on a collision course with Bondrak Dam. Thousands of lives are now in danger. You must stop the Omega at all costs. Fury out. Wolverine, never thought I'd be so glad to see your ugly face. You keep up with all this sweet talk, Dugan, you're gonna make me blush. Now what's the story here? A knockout gas was spread through the ventilation system of the base. I woke up to Dr. Doom demanding I bring Colonel Fury here or he'd ram the Omega into Vondrak Dam. Well, the Tin Man must have forgotten his part of the bargain, because the base is headed straight for that dam. I should have known. It was stupid of me to believe him. Don't sweat it. If it weren't for your message, we wouldn't have come at all. Then where'd everyone be? I suppose you're right. But our time's running out. Get me to the primary engineering control room, and I'll stop the Omega before it can do any damage. Team, I just had a thought. The section you're in contains the primary drivetrain. You could disable it. The Omega base would be forced to switch to the secondary drive. Not much, but it'd give you more time to reach the top of the base. That infernal doom. I can't do anything from this control room. Not to worry, there's a control room just ahead. Hopefully, doom left it alone. Get me there, we should be fine. On. Yes. This is better than I could have hoped. My old adversary, Iron Man. 
Glad to see you remember me, Crimson Dynamo. It's been a while since I kicked your tin-plated butt. You will not defeat me this time. My new battle suit is vastly superior to your armor. Could have fooled me. You look like something from the early 1960s. Mark me while you still did draw breath, Iron Man. Soon, you will be silenced forever. Huh. You never could take a joke. Or a punch. Team. Now, let's see about stopping this behemoth. Blasted. All controls have been locked down, except those on the upper bridge. Correct. We'll have to reach the top deck and stop the Omega base from there. Sounds like a plan. Good luck. were right. There is a team of superheroes on the Omega base. Well, let's see if this doesn't slow you down. Stop it! If that dam is destroyed, thousands of people will be killed in the flood. Not to mention how much my work will be lost. Those must be the results of the super soldier experiment I've heard about. Scientists are attempting to recreate the experiment that gave Captain America his strength. So far, apparently, all they've created are those giants you've seen. Team, you must be making the masters of evil nervous. My security panel shows a gamma bomb has just been activated. You gotta shut it down or all life in a two-mile radius will be destroyed. Well, it just so happens I'm kind of a specialist on gamma bombs. Take me to the primary lab and I'll see what I can do. Figures. The damage is shut off. We have to find the auxiliary lab and re-establish the safety interlock. why S.H.I.E.L.D. has plans for Ultron? Wrong. These plans are upgrades. The good guys want to capture Ultron, rewrite his programming, and turn him into a S.H.I.E.L.D. weapon. You'd be surprised what else S.H.I.E.L.D. is up to. But all I care about are these plans. Ultron wants them for the weapons upgrades. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, my God. 
don't imagine he did. You did a good job on the Omega Base team. You saved thousands of lives and billions of dollars in shield equipment. Yes, a device known as the Mutant Amplifier. It magnifies a mutant's natural powers. Until we locate Doom's base, nothing. And since all we're doing is cooling our heels, I want you to investigate a report that there's a riot taking place in Atlantis. See Wyatt Wingfoot, and he'll take you to Shield's Atlantis outpost. Or if you'd like more information, talk to the Black Widow. Listen up, people. We've been sent here to investigate a situation in Atlantis. What kind of situation are we talking about here, Cap? An hour ago, Namorita sent a message saying a riot's taking place. A crowd broke into the throne room of Atlantis and dragged Namor off his throne. Why would the Atlanteans riot? They love Namor. I don't know. Namorita had to stop transmitting before she could give any details. How are we to handle a mission in the undersea conditions of Atlantis? There's nanotechnology at this outpost that will let us breathe and move normally through the water. I want to remind you, the Atlanteans aren't exactly big fans of us surface dwellers. What if they become violent? Defend yourselves. We have to help Namor any way we can. He's a valuable ally. That's it. Let's be careful out there. Good. Locate the nano chamber and activate it. Once the nanites are in your bloodstream, you're free to enter the water. some type of mind control. I must save them. Namor, you have to rest. Here, take this medicine. Don't worry. The drug only rendered him unconscious. He's in no condition to fight. If you went to the ancient temple of Negretti, you'd find seaweed I can use to heal Namor. My people are being brainwashed by devices called Sonic Emitters. It's part of a Tuma scheme to steal the throne from my cousin. He's a barbarian chief who's always thought he was destined to conquer Atlantis. Looks like he might be right. You're near the Sonic Emitters. They're what's making the Atlanteans so violent. Be very careful now. Atuma would not leave the devices unguarded. I believe these surface dwellers intend on destroying the sonic emitters, Krang. Then these humans are as foolish as they are weak, my cousin. They stand no chance against our combined might. True, but I do savor a chance for battle. I grow bored guarding these devices. As do I. But acting as guards has put us in Atuma's good graces. And that puts us 
near the throne. <laughs> and down the road, who is to say what might happen to King Atuma, eh, cousin? My feelings exactly. Now let us dispose of these interlopers and prove to Atuma just how trustworthy we are. emitters destroyed, my people will eventually return to normal. Now you should get to the throne room of Atlantis as fast as you can. Yes, and who knows what he'll do when he finds out you're ruining his plans. You've got that right. The Guardians are trained to protect the temple against all invaders, surface dwellers in particular. You need to find an extremely rare plant known as Whalic Seaweed. It's very valuable and will be well protected. Good. Get back here fast. That seaweed doesn't last long after it's picked. Let me open up a whirlpool for you. It'll bring you right back to my location. Good. You've got the ingredients. Give me a minute. What's this? I dreamt my people were in danger, and my realm was stolen from me. It's no dream, cousin. A tomb has taken your throne and enslaved your people. But you're still much too weak to fight. No. I'll not forsake my people in their time of need. Very well. I had not thought you surface dwellers were capable of such kindness. If you succeed, I will be forever in your debt. How dare you enter my throne room, surface dwellers! Kneel before the King of Atlantis! Fools! You will pay for your insolence! Let me teach them a lesson, Atuma. No. We will work together, Tiger Shark. And we will make them pay dearly for their transgressions against the King of Atlantis. There's a lot there to search through. Finally, my friends, it appears your luck has run out. I trust you're not the only team Colonel Fury has attempting to stop the Masters of Evil. Atuma allowed me free reign of the Catacombs in return for the Sonic Emitters. And I just now located our prize, the Tomb of Asarius. I'm sorry, but I have no time for questions. I must be on my way to the Valley of Spirits. But before I go, allow me to summon a little entertainment for you. It's the least I can do.
one. Many thanks. Atlantis owes you a debt of gratitude. And Namor would like to say something. Surface dwellers, I'll have you know I was perfectly capable of handling the situation alone. Yes, well, you did. So I suppose I should thank you. You now have my permission to leave Atlantis. You did a good job in Atlantis. Who knows? Atlanteans may even start to tolerate us surface dwellers. And that's why your next stop is his palace in the Valley of Spirits. Yes, I want you to discuss things with Mandarin. Find out what the Masters of Evil are planning. Talk to Black Widow for additional information. Or see Mr. Wingfoot if you're ready to go now. Loki, are you certain your ploy in Atlantis worked? My good doctor, how could you doubt the god of mischief? My performance as Mandarin was flawless. Rest assured, the heroes will travel to the Valley of Spirits. I wonder who will be the worst for this confrontation. The heroes or Mandarin? It matters not, so long as one of them pays the ultimate price. The traitorous Mandarin will most likely meet his demise. But not without destroying several of Fury's lackeys first. Indeed. I would find it most enjoyable if my dear brother Thor were to fall in battle. Long as he been a thorn in my side. Oh, don't look so sad, Enchantress. When our ultimate plan is realized, you will find others more worthy of your attention than Thor. I should hope so, Loki. Still, it saddens me that Thor must die. He is truly a god to be admired. That pompous fool's overdeveloped physique is nothing compared to my conniving intellect. Now oh, I have longed to crush his self-righteous countenance beneath my booted heel. Silence! All of you. My scanners show the heroes are in the Valley of Spirits. We have set the stage, and the players have arrived. Now, let us watch and see who will survive this tale of deception. Excellent. Now all you have to do is track down Mandarin and see what he knows about the Masters of Evil. Looks like you lose. Oh. How dare you enter the Valley of Spirits uninvited? You shall pay for this mistake with your lives. What are you talking about? I have no time for your senseless prattle. Ultimo will deal with you. You may have defeated those in about my touch, but now you will fix the power of the Mandarin! You shall soon learn the foolishness of such a father. My rings of power will annihilate you! <laughs> the 
Welcome back from Mandarin's palace. It looks like the masters of evil managed to pull a fast one on us and kidnap two X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. For the next part of the operation, we're moving our headquarters to another location. When you're ready to go, talk to Mr. Wingfoot. He's awake! Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. Team, welcome to our new headquarters, the home of Dr. Stephen Strange. We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveria is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the Orb of Teleportation near Wong. Baron Mordo, I trust all is in order. Our guests will be arriving soon, and I would hate to be ill-prepared. You can rest assured. I have taken all the necessary steps. Ha! <laughs> An infant could have cast better spells. The heroes have detected your magic and suspect something is afoot. They cannot possibly know the true meaning of the enchantments. I'd stake my life on it. Be careful what you wager. Loki, leave the good Baron alone. What does it matter if the heroes suspect? They will still be ensnared by the trap. For his sake, they'd best be. I'm taking a grave risk being associated with the masters of evil. Make no mistake, my friend. We all stand to lose much if we fail. Which is why I'm certain Baron Mordo will achieve success. But I would warn you, Baron. My faith only goes so far. Failure will not be tolerated, and the penalty will be most unpleasant. What of the mutant amplifier we stole from the Omega base? Does it work? Yes. Even better than I dare hope. But time is now a factor in our plans. Why is that? The mutant amplifier is quite destructive. If we do not move swiftly, the X-Man we kidnapped will die. Ooh, you surprise me, Dr. Doom. Why do you care for the health of the mutant? I don't. An early death would hinder our plans. But make no mistake, death for the X-Man is inevitable. You must know you're there. Watch yourselves. There could be a trap around any corner. And remember, your primary mission is to retrieve Nightcrawler and Jean Grey. Once they're safe, find out whatever you can about the Masters of Evil's next move. On a side note, Senator Kelly was abducted in the middle of the night. The really odd thing is, a jack-in-the-box was left in his place. I have no idea, but keep your eyes open and see if you can find any information on the Senator's location.
I suppose Professor Xavier sent you to save me. Well, he shouldn't have bothered. I am very different. For the first time in my life, I'm free. Free to use my powers without being restrained by Xavier and all the rest of you. He told me you'd say something like that. And he also told me the truth. He said you fear me. Because I'm more powerful than any of you. Liar! Everyone has tried to stop me from exploring just how powerful I am. Well, I think it's about time I found out. Don't you? you later. <laughs> Hello, heroes. This is your old buddy, Arcade. I hope you're ready for a fun-filled day at Murder World, because I've got some killer events lined up. I know you've been running yourselves ragged trying to stop Dr. Doom. So I spoke to Baron Mordo. He was able to divert your teleportation spell to my little land of fun and assassination. See how tense you are? This little vacation is just what you need. And remember, no one ever leaves Murder World unhappy because no one ever leaves Murder World alive! <laughs> If you're planning on torturing me, you're only proving what I've been saying all along. You meta-humans are nothing but self-serving vigilantes. How do I know you didn't stage this whole event so that I'd be grateful to you? All right, all right. What should I do? Thank you. And I suppose I should apologize for my rude behavior. But you have to understand, a man in my position can't afford to trust anyone. If it isn't my dear, dear friends, you're wasting your time trying to save me. You should be worried about saving yourselves. Liar! Arcade isn't controlling me. He set me free. He wants me to use my powers to their fullest. Then it looks like Arcade is going to get what he wants. Wolverine, I just had the strangest dream. I was trying to kill you at a carnival. Look around, Red. It was no dream. Somehow that nutball arcade was controlling you. Are you all right now? Other than a few bumps and bruises, I'm fine. I hate to rush you. Have you got any idea where they're keeping Nightcrawler? The last time I saw Kurt, Dr. Doom had him hooked up to some kind of power amplifier. That must be that mutant amplifier they swipe from the Omega base. I do remember Arcade was there with Doom. If you can find Arcade, I'm sure he can tell you where Nightcrawler is. Sounds like a plan, Genie. You stay here and rest up. We're gonna track down Arcade and have a few laughs with him. I hope you kids had a fun day at the park. You have no idea how much your mother and I had to scrimp and save so we could afford to send you here. Well, I can see someone's getting cranky, but that's okay. I've got a little something here that should quiet you down permanently. All right, you asked for it, but remember, this is gonna hurt you way more than it's gonna hurt me!
but I think my arm is broken. I've got no time for your jokes, Arcade. Tell me where Nightcrawler is before I really do break your arm. Cappy, I'm surprised. I didn't you resort to torture. After what you did to Jean Grey, it wouldn't be torture. It would be justice. Now talk before I do something you'll regret. Okay, okay. Enough of the rough stuff. Dr. Doom used the mutant amplifier on Why? What good would it do to supercharge Nightcrawler's powers? Think about it, Boy Scout. With enough power, Nightcrawler could open a portal to anywhere. And it just so happens Doom wanted to go to Mephisto's realm. And before you ask, no! I don't know why they went there! Then we're done here. Let's get back to headquarters, team. We've got a rescue to prepare for. That was a nice job in Murder World. You turned a potential disaster into a successful mission. That dark magic Clea had sensed was Mordo's spell waiting to divert the orb of teleportation. But Wong's corrected the problem. It won't happen again. Yes. Xavier's discovered that Arcade was telling the truth. Doom used the mutant amplifier on Nightcrawler to open a portal to Mephisto's realm. It's a dimension of fire and brimstone, and it's where you're headed next. For more information, talk to Professor Xavier, or, if you're ready to go now, use the Orb of Teleportation. Team, this next mission takes you to Mephisto's realm. It's an alternate dimension that's filled with fire and brimstone. Gah! Why can't we ever be sent to an alternate dimension filled with lonely supermodels? Because we're going to save Nightcrawler. You got a problem with that? Nope. Sorry. I'll just be quiet now. Best news I heard all day. Why is Nightcrawler in Mephisto's realm? Dr. Doom somehow forced him to teleport a group of them to that dimension. How is that possible? Nightcrawler's abilities were never that strong. They used a device known as a mutant amplifier. It magnified his powers far beyond the norm. What's this amplifier doing to Kurt? We estimate it's overdriven his powers to the point that it's causing physical damage. You have to move fast, or it'll kill him. Do you know why the Masters of Evil are going to this dimension? No. Any knowledge you gain would be helpful. So far, we've been completely in the dark as to what Doom is up to. But Kurt comes first. We ain't risking his life. You got it, bub. I understand, Wolverine. Nightcrawler's safety is the number one priority, so get moving. You've arrived in Mephisto's realm, and I would urge you to move with haste. My power is waning, and I won't be able to protect Nightcrawler much longer. Shields are under attack by a creature known as Blackheart. To boost the psychic shields, Jean Grey will be using the Orb of Teleportation to join you. I've made it, Professor Xavier. I'm with the team. Excellent. I would recommend Jean stay where she is, so that she can concentrate on aiding me. Watch yourself, Jean. Not to worry, Professor. I'll create a mental shield of my own. Then the best of luck to us all. Blackheart is proving much stronger than I anticipated. He's almost through my last shield around Nightcrawler. Jean, I require your full attention. I'm here, Professor, but I'm under attack by Blackheart's minions. Then protect yourself, Jean. Leave Nightcrawler to me. It's too late. They're through my defenses. I'm sorry, Professor. Jean! Jean! You never stood a chance, Xavier. Now both the X-Men are mine, as will be the rest of your team face. <laughs> Freedom for your imprisoned brethren. 
Very well. I will allow it. But only in exchange for one of you. Yes. Whichever of you touches the Book of Despair will become entrapped, and Ghost Rider will be set free. What's going on? Where am I? And what are you doing here? That's just great. So the only way to free your teammate is to fight Mephisto. I was safer when I was a prisoner. But what the heck? Let's get moving. We don't want to keep Mephisto waiting, do we? Greetings, heroes. I've arranged for some very special entertainment. I did. You're certainly welcome to them. Well, one of them anyway. <laughs> I hold the key that will open one cage and cause the other to plummet into the infinity vortex. Now the question is, which of the experts do you wish me to see? The pious nightcrawler? Or the benevolent Jean Grey? Do not open this door. It will cause Jean's cage to fall. Please, if you have any mercy in your heart, do not doom me to a life of guilt. Save Jean. It... Nine! Jean! That... that should have been me. Why didn't you save Jean? I would have gladly sacrificed myself. You know that, and you let Jean die. How could you? Nightcrawler, please calm down. This is not the time for a display of anger. No, there is not, Kurt. You are to return to home base at once. I'll not have you jeopardizing this mission. I see. If those are your orders, then I will comply. Yes. Yes, she wants. But it is up to you to give her death meaning. Stop the masters of evil before any more lives are lost. Now you feel the pain of the ultimate loss. And no doubt, you seek revenge. Come then, and face me. I will show you an entirely new world of pain when I rip your astral spirit from your body.
just happened? I thought I died. I do hate to ruin this happy moment, but I failed to mention one slight detail. This echo of your friend is all too easy for me to control. Isn't that right, Miss Gray? Quite correct, Lord Mephisto. Now, destroy your friends, that I might take their astral energy. With pleasure. an echo of my real self. I can't leave this dimension. I'm sorry, but I can't leave here. And we have to face facts. You can't defeat Mephisto. But I can. By sacrificing what little energy I have left. Nothing can be done for me now. And I would rather die than spend an eternity here. Take care, my friends. Tell Scott I love him. And tell Logan... Goodbye. All right, Mephisto. I'm done playing games. Get ready to face the power of the Phoenix. Stay back for me. I command you, stay back. Jean couldn't leave that realm, and she was the only one who could defeat Mephisto. There were no other options left. Now is not the time for sorrow. My friend gave her life to save you and to aid you in your mission. Go. Stop the masters of evil. Do not allow them to achieve success, and Jean Grey will not have died in vain. Team. I hate to even bring this up, but Mephisto did mention Dr. Doom had plans for Asgard. Return to base as quickly as possible so that we can respond to this new threat. The loss of Jean Grey is a tragedy. No one believed more deeply in the X-Men's struggle to promote understanding between mutants and humans. And while we may miss Jean as a friend, the world is going to miss her as the rarest type of champion there is. I wish there was additional time to mourn Ms. Gray's death, but from what was heard in Mephisto's realm, we have to get to Asgard quickly. To go to Asgard, use the Orb of Teleportation. Ho, brave warriors of Asgard! I have come to pay my respects to Odin! Loki. And of course, I brought presents. <laughs> Behold, my tribute to the All Father. The day of reckoning has arrived! Long have I been denied my rightful place. But now, I have the power to take it! Throne will be mine. <laughs> Look around you, team. We're standing in a land very few humans have ever seen. This is the world known as Valhalla, 
It's where brave Asgardian warriors go when they die. Understand that the only reason we're allowed to make headquarters here is because Asgard has fallen, and they need our help to defeat Doom. Right now, we have two possible missions. First, the gate of the Bifrost Bridge has been locked and needs to be opened. Second, many of the gods are being held prisoner in Asgard. For more information on freeing the prisoners, talk to Lady Sif. To find out about the Bifrost Bridge, talk to Hermod. If you're ready to start now, take the path to Asgard or the portal to Bifrost. My friends, these are indeed dark times. The masters of evil have overwhelmed the army of Asgard, and the only path for reinforcements has been closed off to us, the Bifrost Bridge. Isn't that how your people travel back and forth between Earth and Asgard? Aye. A great many warriors would return, if only the path were open. How did Doom manage to block off Bifrost? The gate at the end closest to Earth has been closed and barred. It can only be opened from our side. But I would warn you, the Wrecking Crew is guarding the gate. The Wrecking Crew? <laughs> Ooh, pardon me for not being scared. I gotta agree with Webhead here. How bad can these Jokers be? The Wrecking Crew is not to be taken lightly. They are humans who were mistakenly granted the powers of one of my people. More than once, they have sorely tested my powers. They almost beat you? Then we'd better be on our guard. They are formidable opponents, but that is not all. Loki has struck a bargain with Hela, the goddess of death. Her minions will also seek to stop us. So we're fighting gods and the undead? Right. Anyone else nervous about our odds here? We must succeed. Without those additional forces, there is little hope for Asgard. Not to worry, Thor. We'll get those gates open. I thank you, my friends. Let us battle on to victory! Good. Make your way across as quickly as possible, and open the Bifrost Gate. Watch yourselves. The Wrecking Crew aren't gonna be pushovers. Good job. Now reinforcements will be able to join us from Earth. Return to Valhalla immediately. Good job, team. The gates of Bifrost are open now, and the path to Earth is clear. Your next mission involves freeing the gods in Asgard. For more information, talk to Lady Sif. Or, if you want to go now, use the path to Asgard. And you should be happy to know that having finished the Bifrost mission, you're allowed into the Hall of the Honored Fallen. Ha <laughs> ha! It was more wondrous than my wildest of dreams. How I wish I could forever relive the fall of Asgard. It was so amusing to watch the oafish knaves as they fought in defense of their beloved city. But one by one, they realized that all was lost. Heimdall, Tyr, and even the mighty Balder have tasted the bitter dregs of defeat. Now I, Loki, am the true lord and master of Asgard. And all those who have dared to mock me are in chains, beaten and hopeless. Need I remind you, Loki, that your brother Thor still remains free? Your fascination with the God of Thunder grows tiresome, Enchantress. But has he not proven himself your better time and time again? Careful. That beauteous face will gain you only so much of my mercy. But she does bring a valid point to light. Thor will likely attempt to liberate the fallen warriors. 
Think you that I would not be prepared? Traps are plenty wait for those who would dare to free my prisoners. Traps that even they cannot overcome? You underestimate me, Doom. After all, am I not the god of mischief? My brother and his friends will most assuredly enter Asgard. But trust me when I say they will never leave. Pleasant surprise. You look good enough to eat. Enough of your feminine wiles. I know of your spells. Now release Baldur immediately, or suffer my wrath. No one speaks to Enchantress like that. You will be silent, God of Thunder, or I will silence you. Why, Executioner? Is there a note of jealousy in your voice? No, my lady. Only concern. Good. For I will keep company with whomever I choose. Is that true? Yes, my lady. A thousand apologies to you. Enough of this. Tell me why Doctor Doom wages war in Asgard. One of your precious team knows. Or at least suspects. Impossible. How could one of us know Dr. Doom's plan? It is a very interesting story. Tell him nothing, my lady. We've wasted enough time. Let me destroy Thor. I have a better idea, my pet. Let us both destroy him. Friend, you have defeated the Enchantress and the Executioner. I would have not thought it possible. I can still stand, so I am well enough to begin the fight anew. Let Loki beware, for he has now truly earned my wrath. It will not be an easy fight for sure, but I will rally the gods, and we will unshackle the beloved city of Asgard. I thank you again, humans. All of Asgard is in your debt. Now, onward to battle! Now that the Bifrost Bridge is open and the gods have been freed in Asgard, we can turn our attention to locating Odin. The last we heard, Odin was heading toward Niflheim to battle the Frost Giants. I doubt he's in trouble. But just to be sure, your next mission is to go to Niflheim to see if Odin needs help. For more information on helping Odin, talk to Lady Sif. If you want to leave right now, Take the well to Niflheim. The final phase of our plan is about to commence. The attack on the Omega base, the kidnapping of the X-Men, and our dealings with Mephisto have all led up to this moment. I would remind you that failure is not an option. You worry too much, my good doctor. We are more than prepared to achieve our ultimate goal. And you worry too little. How often have we all had victory firmly in our grasp, only to have it snatched away by the heroes? You do realize, Baron Mordo, that the price of failure will be the wrath of Odin. Are you prepared for that? No. No, I don't suppose I am. None of us are. It would be a fate worse than death. And that is why we must be absolutely certain we are willing to do what must be done for success. Fear not, Dr. Doom. I am prepared for whatever challenges we meet. As am I. Just knowing the rewards that await makes it all worthwhile. Of that, you have no fear, Ultron. Everyone will get what's coming to them. So you've returned, eh? 
Well, I've nothing left to steal. So leave me in peace. He did pass through here on his way to battle. I don't know who he fought, but the very ground shook from the force of the blows. It has recently grown silent, and I fear all is not well for Odin. I am Vola, prophetess of Asgard. I believe you when you say you do not have my ring. But should you find it, I would gladly tell your fortune. This does not bode well at all. The sword must have been used on Odin. And if that happened... You must move with all haste. Locate Odin. He is no doubt now the prisoner of Loki and Doctor Doom. I could not even hazard a guess. But do not tarry. Odin's life is most likely in danger. Hear me, pitiful creatures, for no one can match the might of Ymir, the king of the Frost Giants. That petty tyrant has been defeated and is now in the control of Doctor Doom. Ah, what a battle that was. The look upon Odin's face will long be a treasured memory. To the top of Raven's Spire, there, Loki will seek out the Invincible Destroyer armor. Then, he will rule Asgard. What a glorious day this is for my people. It is for you, little ones. It is for you. Your friends cannot help you now. like you lose. I claim this victory for Asgard. This is an outrage. How dare Loki and Doom leave us behind? I'll not stand for it. This is not an unforeseen outcome. They now each get what they desire without having to share the spoils with us. We'll just see about that. All we have to do... 
do is guess which spear is truly Odin's. That will open the barrier. Can you use your power of mind control to get the elf to choose for us? It is all too simple for the master of magic. Go, elf. Choose a spear for your master, Baron Mordo. An unfortunate outcome. How did you get here? You shouldn't have been able to cross the bridge. Evidence suggests differently. Let us battle them! Battle! My, my, what an unexpected surprise. But don't you know, it's not safe up here on Raven's Peak. At least not for the likes of you. Sorry, but I'm not exactly sure what's happened to Daddy Dearest. You see, Dr. Doom has him. I seek to take control of the Destroyer armor, but I require four God Swords to free it from its prison of ice. It is a magical shell created by Odin. The wearer's consciousness is pulled inside, leaving their body outside in a frozen state. The destroyer armor is so powerful that even the mighty Thor cannot defeat it. I invite you to do your best, but know this. I will possess the destroyer armor. Good luck, and watch yourselves. You did an excellent job. Thank you for doing what I could never have accomplished alone. You should know by now that deception is my greatest weapon. You never teleported back to Valhalla. You're in a land of my baby. Yes, and now I will take possession of the destroyer armor and crush the life from you.
Am I dead? Why does heaven smell like a wet dog? Oh, wait. Never mind. I am Uwatu, the Watcher. I prevented your deaths, for you are needed to save this universe. Listen closely, mortals. Dr. Doom's unrestrained use of Odin's power will soon tear the fabric of reality beyond repair. I have broken my sacred vow to only observe so that I may give you this one chance to save your world. Who can stand against the power of Odin? Even the gods of mighty Asgard have fallen. Doom's power seems unlimited, but you must know a way to stop him. Yes, there is a chance, but it will be difficult. First, you must obtain the Makran Crystal, a Shi'ar gem of fantastic power. Next, you must acquire another object of great power, and it will take all your strength and skill. You must face the World Eater known as Galactus. Greetings. I am Watu, the Watcher, and this is Atalan, the moon-based home of the Inhumans. He believes he has, but I saved you at the last possible moment. Though I have vowed to never interfere with earthly affairs, the danger is too great for me to stand idly by. Doctor Doom's misuse of Odin's power is tearing the fabric of reality. And you are the only ones who can defeat him. You must steal Odin's powers away from him. And to do that, you must acquire two items from the vast reaches of outer space. The first item needed is a shard of the Makran Crystal, located in the Shi'ar Empire. For more information on this mission, talk to the one called Black Widow. Should you wish to leave immediately, talk to the creature known as Lockjaw. You'll be traveling to the Shi'ar Empire for this next mission. It's located in a galaxy in another part of the universe. Once there, you'll need to lay hands on a shard of the Makran Crystal. Will the Shi'ar be willing to part with it? The Crystal is very important to the Shi'ar, but we're good friends with their ruler, Lilandra. I don't think she'll mind giving it to us. Especially when she learns how important it is in stopping Dr. Doom. You X-Men are pretty well connected. You've even got buddies in other galaxies. Xavier's the one who's close to Lilandra. They used to be good friends. Really good friends, if you catch my meaning. Ooh, guess that means Lilandra's not gonna be some wrinkled old prune of a queen. You can say that again, bub. What is the Shi'ar Empire? It's an ancient kingdom that spans entire galaxies and consists of thousands of different civilizations. Are they peaceful? They have had their periods of upheaval, usually due to struggles within the royal family. But for the most part, yes. What exactly is this Macran crystal? It houses a gateway into a universe filled with neutron stars. The power available there is beyond measure. I can see how that would be useful in defeating Dr. Doom. All right, then. Get to Shi'ar and locate Lalandra as fast as you can. Once you've convinced her to give you the crystal, get back here pronto. Good luck. Surrender immediately! Well, well, well. What brings my fellow man to this distant galaxy? Don't you know? There's been a coup. Deathbird has taken the throne from her sister, Lalandra. Then you should be very motivated to see Lalandra back on the throne, because Deathbird certainly won't give you anything other than life in prison. Hold on! Ready? 
Remember, the only way to activate a force field is to find the console that operates it. Lalandra's a good friend of mine, and when a friend's in need, I make it a practice to lend a hand. Because heaven knows, there's been times when I needed help. Now come on, I can see you kids are gonna need a little help, so I'll travel a ways with you. Our first order of business is to get across this fighter bay in one piece. Bound to serve the Empress of Shi'ar, and that is Empress Deathbird. She has given me orders to destroy all invaders. Though it pains me, Lilandra is no longer on the throne. I take commands only from Empress Deathbird. Now please, go, or I shall be forced to use violence. Very well then. You leave me no choice. of humans on board ship are true. I would not have believed them capable of getting this far. All right, Hussar. Humans are such inferior creatures. We are Imperial Guards, loyal to Empress Deathbird. Yes. Without the help of the Imperial Guard, she would never have gained power. No. Most of them were fools who wouldn't listen to reason. Luckily, Guardian is loyal to the throne rather than to a person. But we could have dealt with even the mighty Guardian, just as we're going to deal with you now. Flee! <laughs> <laughs> She will be placed on trial for crimes against the Empire, and then executed. Indeed I do, humans. I've spent months planning my rise to power, and I'm not about to lose now. So with the aid of the Macran Crystal, I will destroy you. The last vestiges of defiance to my absolute authority! The throne isn't yours. It belongs to Lalandra. Never! If I am to be denied the throne, then I will make certain my sister will never rule again by destroying this entire ship. Team, we have to catch up with Deathbird. 
She must be going to set off some kind of self-destruct mechanism. No. Humans, what are you doing here? Forget about me, there's no time. You have to save the ship. My life is not important. There are thousands of others who need you to stop the self-destruct mechanism. You and your friends are as pitiful as ever, Wolverine. The self-destruct timer is about to detonate. Did you take one too many shots to the head when we fought? Lost Deathbird. Killing everyone on this ship ain't gonna gain you a thing. I'd have thought you of all people would understand my motives. All I want is vengeance. Now to smash this console so there's no way for you to shut it off. Have you gone, Loco? You're gonna die with us. Always the fool, aren't you, Wolverine? You should know by now I always have an escape plan. Ain't that something? Guess we're gonna have to smash all these laser emitters if we're gonna shut down this self-destruct system. the first item needed to defeat Dr. Doom. Lockjaw will now create a portal that you may use any time to return to our base on Atalan. You did well. Obtaining the Macran Crystal under those conditions was quite impressive. Yes, but there is still one item you must obtain. The Muonic Inducer. It is the device Galactus uses to assimilate the energy of a planet when he devours it. He is about to attack a planet populated by the Skrull, a race who has long sought to conquer the Earth. If you wish to leave now, see the dog Lockjaw. Or, should you desire additional information, talk to the Black Widow. You're about to be sent to the homeworld of the Skrull. There you need to steal a device called the Muonic Inducer from Galactus, who is presently attacking the Skrull planet. Why is Galactus at war with the Skrull? He's not. Galactus is there to consume the planet. Whoa, this dude eats planets? I gotta get a picture of that. He doesn't really eat them. He has machines that convert the planet into energy he can absorb. One of those devices is the Muonic Inducer. I wouldn't think old Galactus is going to be too happy with us trying to steal one of his toys. No, he won't be. Which is why I'd strongly advise against any confrontation with him. Galactus is one of the most powerful beings we've ever encountered. That would explain why he feeds off entire planets. But how does he choose which worlds to consume? He has a herald for that. A scout who determines which planet's next on the menu. Well, at least we can count on the Skrull to help us out. Not necessarily. The Skrull are a warlike people who've attacked the Earth several times before. They'll most likely see you as enemies. Wonderful. So if Mr. Universe doesn't completely crush us, the Skrull will be happy to finish the job. Yes. Is that a problem? No. Just wanted to make sure what the teams are. Well, good. Now get moving. Team, you now stand on the Skrull homeworld. They are an alien culture who've tried to enslave humanity several times. They'll attack you, but remember, your primary goal is to locate Galactus so you can take his Muonic Inducer.
Team, it appears you're near a set of magnetic shield generators that Galactus uses. These devices convert the planet's magnetic field into a shield he uses to protect himself. On the off chance you'll have to face Galactus, it'd be in your best interest to take down these generators. What are you doing here, humans? Are you the ones who brought Galactus down upon our world? Why they are here doesn't matter. Let's destroy them anyway. Agreed, Pybok. They will be forever the enemy. Stay your hand, my brave warriors. We may have use for these creatures. Humans, I propose a bargain. If you are truly here to battle Galactus, then you will require knowledge that I alone possess. Knowledge of a weakness of the Planet Eater. In return for this knowledge, all I ask is that you open the main hangar door so that my ship can escape the destruction of this planet. Trust me, humans. Your lives depend on it. still live. You humans are more resourceful than I'd thought. Fools! You should already know that Galactus has no weakness. With the thousands of civilizations he's faced, do you think he'd still be alive today if he was not invincible? Yes. And I'm also going to have you destroyed. Super Scroll, Pybok, attack! The Empress is wise and just. We are honor-bound to obey her. Yes. And now we have the privilege of carrying out her order to kill the humans.
fury sent me to aid you in battling my old master. But first, allow me to use the power cosmic to heal you. True, he is mighty. But if we work together, we can slow him down. Three of his machines are nearby. If you reconfigure them to malfunction, it should cause a feedback loop that will render Galactus unconscious. The inducer is what powers the three machines, but you won't be able to get to it until Galactus is out of the way. survive an encounter with Galactus. But you must return to Earth now. Doom has grown quite adept with his newfound powers, and he has shown little restraint in their use. Soon, he will begin to damage the very fabric of the universe. Once you are done here in Atalan, see Lockjaw. He will send you to Earth. Much has transpired since you were last on Earth. Mankind did its best to defend itself against doom. But even their greatest weapons were as nothing before doom's power. The heroes of your world also tried to stop doom and paid the ultimate price.
And with this discovery, Doom began corrupting your entire world. As you can see, Doom's powers are far-reaching. He's remade Stark Tower into his twisted vision of perfection. But that's not all. He's changed New York, as well as every other major city on Earth. Before we can do anything else, we need to get our headquarters up and running again. Go to the power junctions and activate them. There, we're back in business. What the blazes? Doom must know we're here. <laughs> it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Target acquired. Return to Castle Doom. It's going to take a lot more than a couple of cheap toys to take me down. Well, if Doom didn't know we were here before, he sure does now. And that's fine, because we're as ready as we're going to be. Dr. Pym has managed to power the muonic inducer with the McCran crystal, but be warned. You'll have to actually touch Doom to steal some of his power, and it may take several tries to work. You will too, once you steal his powers. I'd suggest you get to Latveria as soon as possible. You'll find Doom in his castle there. For more information on the mission parameters, talk to Black Widow. And when you're ready to go, let me know. I'll fly you there. We're going to be arriving at Doom's castle soon. Once there, you'll have to locate Doom and use the McCran crystal to steal his power. You can bet your boots Doom ain't gonna let that go without a scrap. Uh, make no mistake. You're in for the fight of your lives, but it has to be done. As predicted, tears are developing in near-Earth space because of Doom's unbridled use of power. Pretty soon, even Doom won't be able to stop it. What will happen if the tears are left unchecked? The universe will unravel in a matter of months. All life will cease to exist everywhere. Gone forever. Wow, not to criticize, but this mission briefing is turning into a real down. I don't know any other way to put it. Trillions of lives are depending on you to defeat Dr. Doom. Look, I know we've had our differences over the course of this little adventure, and I know you don't agree with the way I've done some things. But as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D., I can't ever afford to lose. And now you're in the same boat. You have to win this one. Not to worry, Colonel. I am prepared. Wolverine and I are certainly ready for anything. You got that right. Yeah. I've always wanted to fight someone with the powers of a god. Don't worry, Colonel. We know what's riding on this. We won't fail. I know you won't. Good luck. And watch yourselves. Greetings, my old friends. You're looking quite well for being dead. But then, I suppose I have Uazo to thank for that little blow. I know it brings many things. And once I am finished here on Earth, I shall turn my attention to the stars. Then, all the Watchers will learn to respect the might of Doom. Do you see how easily I have control of any elements themselves? Finally, I have achieved the ultimate power. Why would I destroy the last people who appreciate my work? I want you to roam around and see what I've changed. You're the real Colossus, aren't you? But Doom managed to turn you evil. Dr. Doom merely showed me that he is the ultimate power in this universe. 
And now I have the privilege of being his protector. Some privilege? And you're not the real Captain America, are you? You're just some dark clone of his. I am the final proof that Doctor Doom rules with absolute power. He was able to create me as an exact duplicate of Captain America. You're not an exact duplicate. Cap has way more class than you'll ever have, support. I can understand your anger, Tony. But soon you will feel like I do, and join Doom's forces. Don't you dare call me by my first name. You're not Captain America, and I'll die before I turn into one of Doom's flunkies. I too had thought so, until I faced Doctor Doom and lost. Now look at me. Soon, we will stand side by side as protectors of our Lord Doom. That's not gonna happen. Not in a million years. <laughs> Took you long enough to get here. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Don't be too hard on them, Psylocke. They aren't one of Lord Doom's chosen. Yet. Our minds aren't twisted. We now realize that Lord Doom is the ultimate power in this galaxy. And in serving him, we are granted abilities far beyond anything we had previously known. If you really think that's so, then follow me and you'll see what Lord Doom is capable of. Go ahead. Follow Cyclops if you want. Or stay here and face me. Either way, you're going to have to fight us both sometime. somewhere near you. At this point, anything is worth a try. Keep your eyes open for it. You're neighborhood Spider-Man. I prefer to think of us as the next generation. Bigger and badder. Nay thee, I say. Doom has decreed that my father must remain in prison. So there he must stay. Of course, you're welcome to try and take the hammer from him. I dare you. Come on. You know you want to. I'm not. <laughs> Return to us now in Asgard, Odin. Here you will rest 
that you might one day regain your power. survive this long. Pledge allegiance to him. And if you don't, we'll pound you until you do. Got it? Free! 
Your wretched scheme is undone, and your black soul is mine. No! An eternity of suffering is the fate of those who challenge the gods. You gotta thank your old man for me, Thor. Odin did one hell of a job reversing the damage due to Earth. Aye, but I believe he is presently occupied with Doom and my brother Loki. Let's hope he's teaching them new kinds of pain. The world owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. But, with the danger past, our task force must be disbanded. <laughs> You're a punk, Fury. Listen, fellas. I don't care if you like me, but if a threat like this comes again, can S.H.I.E.L.D. count on your help? The world can count on us, sir. Such insignificant creatures. They dare steal from Galactus. For that, I will destroy their planet. All is well, but the tale is not yet complete. While pursuing Doctor Doom, your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the future you help to create. It is regrettable you did not save the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the Legacy Virus, a disease that is deadly to mutants. In several years, the virus will become a plague that runs rampant across the Earth. Because you chose not to act, you may have doomed the mutant race to extinction. You showed true courage in locating the ingredients needed to heal Namor in Atlantis. Because of this, Namor will grow to trust surface dwellers. And in time, he will aid in the formation of a worldwide organization of superheroes. This group will save the Earth from many dangers that would have otherwise destroyed it. It was quite valiant of you to rescue Senator Kelly, a known detractor of mutants. Because of your kindness, the Senator will successfully sponsor the Mutant Aid Bill. This will allocate government funds for schools like Professor Xavier's. These schools will prove to be very effective in training young mutants in how to control their powers. It was most unfortunate that you were unable to rescue Jean Grey in Mephisto's realm. For she does not die in the Infinity Vortex. Instead, she returns to Earth in the form of the Dark Phoenix, to take vengeance upon those who did not save her. There will be a great loss because you neglected to locate the Sword of the Valkyrie. Without the aid of her magical sword, Valkyrie falls in the battle to free Asgard. Balder then dies attempting to save her. Because of this, Asgard refuses contact with Earth for over a century. Had you located Vola's ring, 
it would have spared much bloodshed. In years to come, the angry prophetess will not warn Odin of an attempt on his life. His death will plunge Asgard into years of chaos. Eventually, Thor will become king, but only after Lady Sif dies in battle. Your failure to save Princess Lelandra was most unfortunate. When an asteroid threatens Earth, a call goes out to the Shi'ar to destroy it. But they ignore that plea. Though Earth's heroes valiantly attempt to stop it, they fail, and the western coast of the United States is obliterated. It is regrettable that you did not save the Skrull planet from destruction. The loss of the base will destabilize that entire sector of space. This, in turn, will lead to an outbreak of war between the Kree and Skrull that will last decades and cost millions of lives. It was most wise of you to save Odin from his confinement in Castle Doom. In the near future, the mighty Thanos will seek to conquer Earth. Only intervention by Thor's father will save the human race from enslavement. You are to be congratulated for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier at Castle Doom. One day soon, Mephisto will seek to conquer our dimension, but Reed Richards will repair the Ultimate Nullifier and use it to stop the vile creature before all is lost. Although this timeline was created by you, know that it can be altered. For you are a hero, and your every action or inaction affects the entire universe.